Six o'clock, we're going to call the meeting to order. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Bacula? Here. Mr. Murray? Here. Mrs. Keith? Here. This time we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic of the United States of America. Indivisible. 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 Okay, at this time, is there any board members who desire to add, delete, or separate any item in the consent agenda as proposed? No? All right, I just need a motion to approve the meeting agenda as presented for the regular board meeting on March 20th, 2023. So moved. Support. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bakula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Speaker? Yes, motion carries. This time I need a motion to approve the meetings of the regular board meeting held on February 21st, 2023. So moved. Support. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Here. Or, yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is this time is there any board members of correspondence? No. Ms. Carroll, no. I received notification from Tommy Schneider that she plans to retire at the end of the year, so she submitted her letter of resignation. Yeah. Number of guests with us today. Please just introduce yourself. Dr. Lawrence Steinfort, Terry Brown, Jessica Root, Phil Dresser, Chris Emma, Dax Velocity, Jesse Spradling, Riley Dunbar, Alan Clancy, Lucas Burkholder, Brady Roper, Alexis Owl, Herbert Campbell, Honor Vacuum, Barry Bach, Tom Wolf. Jenny Cameron, Mallory Campbell, Anna Reagan Real, Thank you, everyone. At this time, we do have um, some presenters. We have Miss um, Howell and Megan mm -hmm. Luckworth on their SFA trip. Thank Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan Buckler, and earlier this month I attended the National FFA Next Gen Conference in Denver, Colorado. Throughout the country, only 75 FFA members were selected to attend this conference, which had a focus on animal science. I was selected as one of three individuals to represent Ohio at the conference. I was excited to receive this opportunity to travel out west and learn about more uh, careers in the animal science industry. My favorite part of the conference was to learn about the differences between farming and ranching in the western part of the country compared to the Midwest. While in Denver, I toured a cattle ranch, the Colorado State University Spur, the Denver Zoo, National Cattle and Beef Association headquarters, and the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge. This conference allowed me to witness other careers in the animal science industry. After high school, I planned to work in the industry and pursue an education to become an equine dentist in the future. I'd like to give a special thank you to the Board of Education, Evergreen Schools, and the local Evergreen community for allowing me the opportunity, the opportunity to attend this event. Thank you very much, Megan. Mm -hmm. um, at this time, Mr. Farrell, would you like to go over your financial report? Sure. I have a number of uh, reports in front of you, normal reports for the month of February. Have our cash reconciliation showing that we balance to the bank. In our financial summary, this is how we are appropriated by each fund. We have our cash summary statement and then our disbursement summary. Those are the checks that we issued during the month. And the last two reports, this is comparing the general fund to our forecast. Right now, or at the end of February, we are 67% of the way through the school year. We have collected most of our real estate revenue we are down just slightly compared to where I had the forecast. Uh, income tax, we have one more payment coming in. That'll be in April. As far as expenses go, everything is right in line. Uh, later this week, we will be receiving our three buses that we purchased last year. So those will be coming out of capital outlay. As you can tell, that's pretty low at only 24%. So that'll change here. And payroll and benefits is on the uh, last page there. Again, everything is right in line and very comparable to last year. A couple other items on the agenda. Uh, we have a couple donations there, as you see, 
and then a couple of budget carry increases uh, for both revenue side and budget side. And that's all I have. All right. So at this time, we'll start with a financial agenda. We need to approve the following February 2023 financial reports that Mr. Farrell just presented to us. We need to accept the following donations. Her dollars anonymous donation to the Student Assistance Fund, as well as $25 donation from Gary and Luann Pennington to the Esports Club. We also need to approve the following appropriation modifications and do amend resources accordingly. Um, they're listed there for you to see. And we also need to approve a revised auxiliary service agreement with the Educational Service Center of Lake Erie West for the 2022-2023 school year in the amount of $88,038.40 for the services of auxiliary service personnel for the benefit of Holy Trinity Schools and to amend resources and modify appropriations accordingly. At this time, I just need a motion to approve the financial reports and other financial items. So moved. Or Questions or discussion? Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Beaver? Yes. Motion carries. This time we'll move on to personnel. We need to approve an unpaid leave of absence for Ms. Kim Reckner, elementary school, effective March 25th of 2023 through May 26th, 2023. We need to accept the resignation of Ms. Mm -hmm. Snyder, elementary aid. Ms. Snyder's resignation will become effective on June 1st of 2023. Ms. Snyder's service to our students in school is greatly appreciated. We need to offer the following supplemental contract for the 23-24 school year, pending completion of all pupils, activity permits, Barry Bach, head football coach, Stephen McDowell, head cross country coach. We need to pay stipend for the ortho McGillingham training to the following teachers out of the ARP IDEA B funds to Shannon Liu for $30. This time, I just need a motion to approve the above listed personnel position. So moved. Questions or discussion? Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Congratulations, Mr. Bach. Thank you. <laughs> All right. At this time, we'll move on to other business. Um, we need to approve the continued participation in the OHI Optimal Health Initiative Charter Workers Compensation Group Rating Program for the 24 calendar year. Um, support. Okay. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mr. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries. We need to move on to approve an overnight trip for Evergreen FFA officers, which is 10 students to attend an officer retreat at 4-H Camp Palmer in Fayette, Ohio. Students will be trained on how to be an officer and develop the 23-24 FFA school year. Students will depart on July 22nd of 2023 and return on July 24th of 2023. Parents in a school van will transport students to the retreat. Teacher Alexis Powell will be the trip supervisor. Trip costs will be covered by the FFA accounts, alumni and community sponsors. So move for questions or discussion. All right, roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion okay. carries. This time we need to approve an overnight trip for every esports team, which is eight students, to attend the esports state championship at the University of Akron. If qualified, students will compete against peers from throughout the state. Students will stay at the Hilton Garden Inn in Akron, Ohio. Students will depart on May 20th of 2023 and return on May 21st of 2023. A school van will be used to transport students to the event. Teacher Shane Bergman and Callum Schuster will be trip supervisors. Club fundraisers and student families will pay trip costs. So move. Support. Questions or discussion? Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries. This time we need to approve an agreement with Northwest Ohio Educational Service Center to properly participate in special education services for the fiscal year 23-24 at an estimated cost of $789.82.47. The board and NWOESC agrees that $714,082.47 of this amount should be paid pursuant to the Ohio Revised Code 3313.845 or applicable law by having the amount deducted from the board state foundation payment with any remaining balances being invoiced and paid directly to the NWOESB. So move. Support. Questions or discussion? Roll call. Mr. Miller? Abstain. 
Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bakula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Kiefer? Yes. Motion carried. At this time, Mr. Smaller, would you like to continue with discussion? Yeah, we've got a couple informational items for tonight. Uh, Amanda Brain, the current middle school counselor, will be moving to the high school for in the counselor position for next school year. And then back in February, the board approved a trip for the softball team for the previous international softball tournament. Uh, there's been some changes to the venue where those games are being played. So I wanted to make you aware and document that the change of the fields to Victoria Park in North Ridgeville and LaGrange Community Park um, in LaGrange, Ohio. And that is also resulting in the team changing hotels to the I have placed Cracker Park in Westlake for their stay. Same dates for the trip, just change of venue and accommodations for this. Do you have anything further, Mr. Speaker? Uh, not until my report time. Mr. Rupert. Uh, good evening. I want to take a moment to recognize a few students. Um, first, Jacob Goodson, who previously had made it as an Merit Scholarship semifinalist. He has advanced to the finalist round. Um, there's about 15,000 students left. This round is based on AT ACT scores, uh, college prep courses, PSAT scores, and just academic performance. Out of those 15,000, there will be about 7,250 who will receive scholarships. So he's still in the running for that. I um, want to congratulate Lucy Cerna. She was recognized um, for the Franklin B. Walter Scholarship um, Senior. And then the honor teacher was Mr. Lyons. Um, we had the Black Swamp Arts Art Show out at Northwest State. Uh, Evergreen had probably, I believe, the most winners. Uh, we had the overall uh, best of show, which was Ryland Coleman. We had an outstanding drawing by Samantha Miller, uh, outstanding photo by Carson Wise, and best mixed media by Cynthia Fritch. Uh, the last couple things was looking at athletics. We not only performed um, on the field, we had uh, 15 athletes earn all league honors, seven athletes earn district seven honors. Um, and I want to highlight our scholar athletes, Lucy Cerna, Aiden Gleckler, Emily Myers, Walker, Long Reserve, Claire Dowling, uh, they are a scholar athlete. I um, also want to congratulate Christine Hockenberry. Uh, she qualified for state for girls wrestling, and then Grant Richardson qualified as an alternate. Uh, last but not least, we want to recognize Barry Bach. We're excited to have him on board uh, during the interview process, the selection process. He stood above the rest. So, me and Mr. Hendricks were excited, and he would be great for the program. So, welcome, welcome him here. So, that is it. Unless you have questions. Thank you, Mr. Rupert. Good evening. Um, for the middle school, first we'd like to recognize our people's champ for the month, which is Lori Cobb. Um, she is one above and beyond her duties around the building for the year and really established herself as one of our building leaders. Um, We'd like to thank the Mini Bike Parents Club. We actually had a bowling night back on it was March 2nd, the Thursday. We had 55 students go for that. And from all reviews, very positive experience. It's been requested uh, by quite a few to do it again. Um, I'd like to thank Mrs. Brame and the Fulton County H3C Partnership. Uh, they put on a event called The Summit back on March 7th for us. And we had 11 students to attend that event. Um, the summit is about teaching kids about empowerment, uh, learning, development, uh, leadership skills, communication skills, and um, I'm talking to Mrs. Brain, that was a really good event for those kids. There are a lot of kids who kind of shine at that event. They don't necessarily always shine um, in the normal setting. Um, we'd like to congratulate the Evergreen uh, Middle School Quiz Bowl team. They competed and, and their season is now finished, but they finished back on March 9th at the we considered like their league tournament. They took six on the varsity level and fifth at the JV level. So congrats to them for that. Um, middle school track season's underway now. We have good turnout for that. I've been told that we have over 40 some kids now, 44 is the last I heard. So good turnout for kids participation on that. We've been participating in our row activities throughout the month. We had our row activities early in the month from our row lesson day on hard work. 
and our row relays, which were right before spring break there. Uh, shout out to the Low Gangster House, one of our row houses. Uh, they won the row relays. And then later on this week, we'll have our um, All A's breakfast on Friday, and we'll also celebrate our Row Character Awards on Friday afternoon. Um, last thing I just want to say is I want to uh, thank the teachers who have volunteered to participate in the uh, fifth grade transition committees that we have. I have uh, quite a few people volunteered. No, no shocker there, based on uh, people here at Evergreen. And the scheduling committee has already met once, and we'll be meeting again next week. So, any questions? Welcome, thank you. Mr. Brown. Good evening, everyone. Um, with the help of MVP, our mini Viking choir was able to go to the Toledo Museum of Art. They had a great experience and a great time. Uh, Mr. Torrance took 168 students, had parents meet there, but awesome experience for all those kids. Um, also, with the help of MVP, we were able to purchase Evergreen t-shirts for um, all of our staff and students um, to celebrate Green and Gold Fridays. So that was really awesome. We got a, a picture for the yearbook and hope to do another outside picture um, for the yearbook as well. MVP is also going to be sponsoring a mother-son event coming, becoming, coming this Friday, uh, March 24th. And um, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I plan on being there that night um, to spend some time with moms and, and our sons. Um, we also plan to work on a mother-daughter event. We have a group of about 10 staff members that are working on a mother-daughter event that will be coming up on April 30th. Um, and that information will be coming out. We wanted to wait until after our event on Friday so we didn't get the two um, mixed together. So um, that will be coming out uh, probably on Monday. Also, our student council was able to visit Fairlawn Retirement Community. It was an awesome experience for our students um, to learn about giving back. They took their time to spend time with um, the, the residents of um, the community and they played games with them, talked with them. Um, they shared stories with them. Um, and then from there, they were able to go to lunch and then went to the Fulton County Humane Society where they donated $125 um, to the Humane Society from our popcorn for week sales. So um, it was a great, great day for them to learn about giving back. Um, we've also been working on PBIS in our cafeteria each day, um, just teaching our kids that it's important to clean up after themselves, take pride in our school building, and um, they, they won the challenge and we were able to have what we called, um, it was Mrs. UT's dinner theater, uh, where we had Kyle Feedback come and sing for our kids. The kids loved it. It was a great experience for everybody. Um, we are also wrapping up our OTES evaluations for our teachers this year. It's been great to get into classrooms just to see all the things that our teachers do um, on a daily basis. Um, and just to talk with them about lessons, um, to refine things and um, learn from each other. The week of March 6th, we met with third, fourth, and fifth grade teachers, along with our counselor, um, Sharon, to go over state testing, um, different groupings, and um, how that's all going to operate. Um, they have a great system down, so we're going to just um, kind of follow what they've done in the past, add a few, a few new things, and um, have our kids do the best that they can do um, on our testing dates. Also, our kindergarten team has been working on kindergarten screening. It's a very big process. We are changing up a few things this year um, in order to focus on individual students and um, allowing um, our parents to come in and learn a few things while they're waiting on their child. We do have some parent volunteers that are coming in to help with that um, that day, which will be um, exciting to see that whole process and see watch it kind of unfold this year. The teachers have been really good about maybe trying something new, um, which is exciting. So see how that goes. So, any questions? I think so. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Dr. Weinberg. So I thought it was important this time to really focus on my presentation on grants. We have been approving or accepting grants uh, funds on the board agenda for the last several months. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to really stress what those were, what they mean and what they're going to be used for. 
So Evergreen has applied for 11 grants this school year. We have been awarded of those six of them um, for a total amount of $332,450. It's important to know though, each grant application has specific requirements or criteria that we have to meet, such as purpose, population, needs, budgets, what it's gonna be used for. In addition to that, some of those are state, local, or even federal. And when it becomes federal, oftentimes we'll have a list of what it can specifically be used for. In addition to that though, those funds have to be used to, to improve school security, expand STEM activities, implement career exploration awareness activities, and support our homeless and economically disadvantaged students. In addition to that, as I said, we applied for 11. We have five grants that we're awaiting potential award notification. For those five, the potential award notification is $91,050. So I really wanna focus on the ones that we have been awarded already. The first one is the Ohio K-12 School Safety Grant Round 2. We received $50,000 and that will be used for vape detectors. The second one is the Ohio K-12 School Safety Grant Round 4. We were awarded $250,000. It will be used for vape detectors, additional cameras in each building, 911 informed, update to our current FOB system, mirror placards um, for vehicles on campus, so those are the, the tags that hang from windows, and a visitor management system in each building. The next grant we received is the Ohio STEM Learning Network Classroom Grant for $5,000. We use that funds to purchase various LEGO education and magnetile components that will expand STEM or STEAM activities at the elementary. The next grant we received was our Career Awareness and Exploration Funds, which was $8,166. We will be using that to purchase items for coding at the elementary, our Agricultural Education Day at the elementary, career exploration field trips, career fair transportation, and guest speakers. The next two are federal grants that we received. The first one is the ARP Homeless Round 2 was $2,784. And we are using that to purchase personal hygiene supplies for each building. The next one is also a federal grant. It's the ARP Homeless Targeted Support Grant. We received $16,500. Again, that will be used for personal hygiene supplies in each building, various size clothing in each building, cleaning and laundry supplies, school supplies, and commercial grade washer and dryer sets for each building. The ones that we have applied for that we will receive notification here before the school year is out is the Teen Pregnancy Prevention, which is $10,000. The Stronger Connections Grant Tier 1, $5,000. Stronger Connection Grant Tier 3, $50,000. The Ohio Attorney General FY23 School Safety Grant, $6,050, and the Ohio Attorney General School Law Enforcement Technology Linking Safety Grant for $50,000. So as you can see, we brought in a, quite a few grants already, but have applied for them. And we will continue um, to apply for grants when they become available. Any questions? Awesome, Dr. Thank you. Uh, a few things I wanted to add. Um, Ohio House Representative Jim Poops was at Evergreen today to present Chris Lyons with an official commendation for his Teacher of the Year honors. Uh, him being on campus gave me the opportunity to sit down with him and discuss some of the current legislation that is being considered, um, specifically the ones impacting education, to see where he was at and to share our perspective of what's best for our students and what's best for the district. So I have the good opportunity to meet with him. Uh, our next community conversation where Mr. Carroll and I are available to answer questions about the district is this Thursday, March 23rd at Wolf It Down in Lyons at 4 p.m. We encourage any community members who want to sit down and talk, ask questions, learn about the district to, to come out and sit with us at, uh, at Wolf It Down. And then we have two new local scholarships created to benefit our students, the Labor Scholarship in honor of John and Carla Labor and the Her Legacy Scholarship in memory of Michelle Her. We thank the creators of those scholarships for their generosity in helping our students with their future plans. So we've got a number of scholarships available to our graduates, and now we have two more to add. So I wanted to recognize that and thank those families.
Any questions? Mm -hmm. um, are there any board members with questions or concerns? Um, I had a few questions. Food survey. Mm -hmm. We had the survey and everything. Where are we at on that? What are we thinking? We are still evaluating. I know we are getting some prices on equipment to what we need for the middle school kitchen to if we wanted to cook and serve out of there as well as to just serve. Uh, we are in the process of completing the RFP, so if we decide to put it out for bid, we'll have it ready to go. Okay. Are we thinking we're staying with? <clears throat> I am leaning towards seeing what the market okay. has available. Do a little shopping. Yes. Okay. Um, that's great move. I know we got an update from Mr. Burkholder that um, some of the committees have started meeting, and how is that going? Do we have any? Are we we have not, nothing there concrete and that's why I didn't put it on here. Um, the plan in the next couple of weeks we would have a schedule and building layout. And those I know were the two main things and then the kitchen was another piece that that was a concern. so I didn't put it on as a discussion because I didn't have anything formal to present, but more information will be coming soon. Okay. Mr. Burkholder, how are those meetings going? Are they amicable and clearing some fog or are we yeah, we only met them one time. I gave okay. uh, I gave everybody a chance to do February to consider what committees to join. Okay. Um, so we had one meeting before spring break and we, we set up the next one day. Okay, and you're just doing the scheduling right now, right? Starting with the scheduling okay. committee and move forward with that one. Um, mm -hmm. The other committees aren't quite as pressing as far as getting them meeting yet. Okay. Well, does anybody else have any further questions? No? All right. So I need a motion for the members of the Upgrade Local Board of Education, Superintendent Treasurer, and invited guests to go into the executive session for the following reasons to consider the employment of public employees. Support. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Eby? Yes. Motion carries. Any students of papers for Mr. Blanchard can get them to Mr. Rupert? No action. And there'll be no action. Yes, there'll be no action after this. 